I want to be able to use medical aid in dying. How will I do that if I develop dementia? So you raise an interesting point. Um, in the US, um, as far as we've been able to go with thinking about a comfortable planned end of life is directed at people who are terminally ill and who are mentally competent. Uh, interestingly, Canada has taken a somewhat different uh, position. And in Canada, it is actually possible to specify your wishes in advance, as it is in other countries of the world. But that is not feasible anywhere in the US for the foreseeable future. Um, so what is possible is there are uh, advanced directives, uh, which are um, your plan. So we talked about the first step is a goals of care conversation. What is important to me if my life is shortened? And then that gets translated into something that's more specific called advanced uh, directives or a living will is the other term for it. And that specifies if I have a terminal illness, I'm not likely to get better. Um, and do I want to be resuscitated? Do I want a feeding tube? Uh, and so forth. So it gets pretty specific. And the more close you get to, to, to death, the more specific you may be inclined to make that. Um, so um, I think with regard to uh, refusing certain levels of care at, as the dementia progresses. So early on in dementia, as we mentioned, life can be pretty good. You get a little forgetful, but as dementia progresses, uh, you lose the capacity to be aware of your surroundings. Uh, and that means you no longer qualify for medical aid in dying. However, you can specify that if I get pneumonia, I don't want it to be treated. Or if I get a life-threatening, uh, whatever, um, surgical condition, I don't want surgery, I want to be kept comfortable. So you can, you can do it that way. And there you, it's most important to, to specify your wishes, writing, some people recommend making a video for your loved ones. And then of course, to discuss it both with your physician, it's very important to get your doctors on board and with your proxy, your healthcare power of attorney, the person that you appoint who will honor, who will represent your wishes uh, if, if you're not able to yourself. 